But Lauren is remarkably strong. She says they had honest discussions about how dangerous his job was. On the, the day that she got the call that he was seriously hurt, Lauren says that she was trying on her wedding dress. Lieutenant Ronaldo was a brave, courageous, strong, fair, and brilliant leader. As his BCFD family said, he would hold a room in his hand without speaking a word. Lauren Ridlon, the fiancé of Lieutenant Dylan Ronaldo, is reading an open letter to the public about Dylan's life and how she hopes he will be remembered. He became my best friend. Um, I felt completely safe with him. I felt that he made the world stop turning. Um, he was everything I've ever looked for um, as a man, as a leader, as a best friend, as a family member. They got engaged in February and planned to marry in May. Their first date lasted three hours. The conversation so engaging, they didn't take a single bite of food. Lauren says she was trying on her wedding dress when she got the call that he had been seriously burned battling a fire on Linden Heights Avenue. Johns Hopkins Lifeline team allowed me to ride with him from TRU to the Bayview Burn ICU. I remained at his side in the hospital um, until the day he left. Lauren says Dylan always wanted to be a firefighter. His dad was in the service in New Jersey. Dylan grew up with firefighter turnout gear at his bedside. They talked about the dangers of his job. We discussed it in the reality that it is. Um, he answered any question I ever had. He never hid anything from me. Dylan had been in the fire service for several years. On October 19th, he and firefighter Roddy Pitts were first on the scene battling the blaze when it quickly turned for the worse. Lauren says Dylan loved history, documentaries, taking long walks with their dog Duncan. Future plans included owning a house with a porch facing west because Dylan loves sunsets. They plan to grow old together. She says he joked how they would race wheelchairs in their nursing home. He had the heart of a lion and, and he was deeply humble. Lauren wants everyone to know how brave Lieutenant Ronaldo was, how compassionate, level-headed, and funny. You can remember him by taking life day by day worry-free. He loved mornings. He loved the uh, beautiful opportunity that a new day would bring. You can remember him by getting a cup of coffee. Lauren says it was a true honor to be loved by Dylan. Funeral arrangements are still being made. Reporting live from Northwest Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.